Um, yeah, hello. I was just getting myself ready to do another video on Thursday today, and I just couldn't put myself together uh, because of something is happening uh, in the Iranian community that is uh, particularly important to me. So um, it's a big story in New York Times. Um, brave, 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 fearless journalist uh, Masih Alinejad was basically saved from a, a, a kidnapping. There were three people, um, uh, three uh, Iranian assets, um, uh, and then one particular person, Farahani, I think his name is, um, were plotting to um, uh, drive Masi to a third country, some, somewhere like Turkey, and basically kidnap her, kidnap her in Turkey. And, and, just, <laughs> and just God knows what to do with her and what would, what would be her fate. Um, um i am mm, the whole thing really reminds me of Khashoggi and what happened to him you know it's um it's a tough job it's a tough job to go after um governments big powers or big big powerful groups and uh, not everyone can do that. Those who decide to do, they are extremely brave people. Just uh, just about uh, yesterday, yesterday, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing his name, but Peter Der Veris, celebrity Dutch reporter, a crime reporter, uh, was gunned down by two men and then he couldn't survive he he died he died today and he was um, reporting on crime and 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 on big powers um again it's it's a tough job and uh, my my salute i true i mean first i am absolutely absolutely so happy that uh, masi was uh, survived i just i just don't know how he she's uh, she's coping and dealing with this atrocity um, god god help her she's a very very brave woman i am so proud of her and also proud of many of these reporters who are playing with fire and they know they are playing with fire god bless them and um, we need these people to to fight um, for freedom to fight for um, closing up and, and giving us more space and freedom. God bless them and I'm so happy that Masih is is safe with, with her family.